is a brand conscious place. It matters where you're seen, what you're seen wearing, and even what wine you're drinking. Which is why I've come down to Sarmand in Shanghai today for a tasting of Chen Bleu wines. Now these wines have been attracting a lot of press attention recently here, and why? What has tickled the local taste buds? Let's find out. Sarmand is a high-end luxury wine retailer in Shanghai, stocking some of the finest wines of the West to satisfy the most discerning local who seeks out the best things in life. Chen Blair wines are among the most popular right now, even though they're quite recent to the collection, so I attended one of their monthly tastings to see what all the hype was about. Chenebler越来越受欢迎,我有很多的客人,他们喜欢这样的果味,它的一些香气,它是一款配中国食物的最佳选择。They uh, have won many awards, which has driven the passion for it in China. But to understand why it's so pleasing to the Asian palate, I asked the locals themselves. 我觉得这个酒在夏天的时候喝感觉很清爽。我喜欢这个酒，因为我觉得它很容易下口，然后非常的顺，所以跟很多食物都可以做搭配。So there definitely seems to be a genuine buzz behind this brand. Particularly with the well healed clientele of China. And why is this? Well, I can certainly tell the fruit driven character jumps out of the glass. But in order to really understand the quality behind this brand, I think I need to go to the source. The Chen Bleu Wine Estate is located in the heart of Provence, very near the famous wine regions of Chateau Neuf du Pape, Gigondas and Hermitage of the Rhone Valley. Now this whole area is steeped in history dating back to the 9th century and the connection with wine goes back to the Middle Ages. Is this tradition historical connection what makes the wine so special? Let's find out. This area in France is renowned for making fine wines, but do you think it's because you're one of the highest vineyards in the south of France that you have such fine quality? Oh, there's no question. The fact that we're at 630 meters, 2,000 feet up in the mountains, adds a whole new dimension to the style of wines we can make, because we have a lot of sunshine like everyone else in Chateau Neuf and in the region, but we also have a lot of freshness that offsets that. So it makes a style of wine that's a bit unique. We have a very protected environment here. We're able to work in a way that's in full respect of nature, not just in the vineyard, but the whole ecosystem around the property. So that's extremely uh, precious to us and we do a lot to protect it. You're also located on a crossing of the tectonic plates, aren't you? Tell me more about that. It's extremely unique because there are very few parts of the world where you actually can see the edge of a tectonic plate exposed. So that means that the mineral content is quite unusual and that helps us with the seasoning and the flavor of the wines. Great wines usually start in the vineyard and here they work in harmony with nature using organic farming and biodynamic practices. For example, natural springs on the property feed the vines and they use a natural pesticide propolis from the bees they nurture on site. 
Shem Blur believes Grenache is an unsung hero in the world of wines, which is why they've dedicated almost half of their vineyard to the grape. And they have so much character, these ones behind me. This is Grenache that's almost between 50 and 60 years old. You can tell they're old by the thickness of the trunk. And this means they have an extensive root system, so they're able to catch all those complex minerals and nutrients. Unfortunately, because they're old, they don't produce many berries. But here, of course, they're all about quality rather than quantity, which means every grape is precious and packed with rich fruit flavour. But of course, to achieve grand cru calibre, the focus on quality needs to continue in the winery. So I went to see Nicole's brother-in-law, the winemaker, to find out more. How do you think the winery plays the role in being able to establish such a high calibre level of quality in the final wines here? Well, you know, it's a mix of modernity and uh, tradition. And here at Chen Bleu, we want to respect what is the tradition uh, to make the wine. We have two sorting into the winery. The first sorting is on the entire clusters. Then we distem them, we separate the berries from the stems. And after that, we have a sorting on berries by berries on a vibrating table. Then they ferment into big wooden tanks for for five weeks. And after the fermentation, we rack the wine into these barrels here. But at the end of the aging, I have to decide which of them will go into our best blend, Abela and Eloise. At the end, Chêne Bleu is making the best wine and Abela has his own character and Eloise different character, but top wines. You know. I'm now in the tasting room and I really recommend coming in here if you do get to visit because you can sample all of the secret treasures down here in the barrel room. Having done so myself, I can now recommend three of their star wines. Now, for those who like white wine, I would go for this. This is Alio. It has been barrel fermented, which means it's got an intense expression of rich fruit, but also that mouth feel, as well as a honeyed finish. It's been winning awards since its first vintage, and I can certainly see why. Now, for those of you who prefer your lighter meats, perhaps your cold cuts, charcuterie, pork and ham, for example, I would go for this. This is Eloise. Now, although it's predominantly Syrah, it is a blend, so it's not too spicy, it's not too meaty. It's got a lot of style, elegance, and finesse. And this is largely due to the little addition of Viognier, which gives it a floral feminine finish. But for those of you big meat lovers and eaters, this has got to be the one to go for. This is Abelard. It's big, it's powerful, it's rich, it's fruity. It's got that masculine brooding intensity, expressing notes of wild strawberry and black fruit. Definitely the one to go for with steaks, rich sauces, or strong cheeses. And so it seems there are no shortcuts policy in every step of the process, resulting in fine flavour has paid off for them. As in terms of its reputation and rating, in Sarments of China's 100 best wines in the world, it came in at 59, scoring even higher than Premier Grand Cru's Chateau de Ken. Their label is even award-winning, depicting the Shen Bleu, meaning blue oak tree, that has become an icon of their property and brand image. But that's not the only unique thing to discover here. Now, another way in which you've become a key mark on the map, as it were, in the wine world, is because of your extreme wine course. The extreme wine experience is really true to its name. We have the WSET intermediate level exam and another one to help you really focus on your knowledge. We also have fantastic practical uh, tastings. But the most important thing is you have time in the vineyard, time in the winery to really get inside the head of a winemaker with exercises that help you to start understanding the difference between good wine and great wine. I'm genuinely so impressed by the superb quality I've experienced here in terms of their hospitality as much as their wines. And it's especially surprising for a relatively new face on the wine scene.
On reflection of all I've seen here, it's clear to me that the success in Schindler Wines and how they've become established as an internationally renowned brand of prestige so quickly is not just inherent in their history and tradition, not just in the purity of flavour from their organic farming, but in their Bordeaux Chateau style family pride and their relentless pursuit for perfection. And it's this coupled with their genuine passion for wine education makes us feel that they want us to become part of the Schendler family, sharing in their knowledge, understanding wine appreciation. And as with every great bottle of wine, the enjoyment is amplified by sharing. And lastly, it also shows they are true in their mission statement, not mine, not yours, but ours.